Hi, it's Adele Michael, and welcome to Energize Your Wealth. This series is designed to give you a break from the chaos swirling around in the outer world and get you in touch with who you truly are, an eternal, magnificent, wealthy being who has the resources and the capacity to navigate the choppy waters that we are sailing through. So it's energizing your inner wealth because that's where we start. We start on the energetic level, the interior level, your thoughts, your feelings, your beliefs. Because as we line those up with the truth of who you really are, then your outer world starts to show that. So what is your inner wealth? It is your talents, abilities, and skill, your destiny and your purpose, your enjoyment of life, your joy, your happiness. Yes, even in these times, joy and happiness exist, and they are part of your wealth. Your strength and your stamina, your love and your loyalty. In essence, the uniqueness that you are, that you came to experience and express in this lifetime. So, welcome. I am so glad you're here. What we're going to do is we're going to address this week being present and grounded. Now, why do we want to be present? Because everything happens in the present moment. Everything happens in the present moment. You cannot affect the future from the future. You cannot change the past from the past. It's all here right now. And why do we want to be grounded? We want to be grounded because we want to be in our body, because our body has a tremendous amount of information, intelligence, and intuition and instinct to guide us in what's next for us, to keep, to keep us safe and secure and surviving. So present and grounded. And when there's a lot going on in the outer world, it is really easy to get up out of our heads, out of our body, into our heads, or beyond. And it's really easy to be worried there because in the present moment, in the present moment, you are here. You probably have enough air to breathe, enough water to drink. Hopefully you have enough food and you have a safe, secure shelter. You are present. And from here is what you create, is how you create the future that you desire. You can create the future from your worries, but that's not going to give you what you desire. So are you ready? I'm going to use my magic dowsing wand here. Dowsing is a an, is an very old practice um, of following the energy. And you may have heard about of people dowsing for water. Um, this, this takes it further. You can use a pendulum or a dowsing rod to, to change energy, not just find water, but to change energy. And so that's what we're doing here. So we are going to um, first delete anything that stands in the way of your feeling and being present and grounded. So as I move the pendulum, uh, the wand this way in a counterclockwise direction, it neutralizes any blocks to being present and grounded. Eliminating those blocks in all levels, lifetimes, languages, resolving all the history. Anything that stands in the way of your letting that go is deleted and destroyed across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Good, bad, right, wrong, pod, pock, all nine shorts, boys, and beyonds. That's the clearing statement from Access Consciousness, and you can look it up on the web if you're interested. It's basically saying on all dimensions. We are clearing any blocks to being present and grounded. And this is just going to go until the energy is complete. And then it slows down and tells me it's complete. Good. So now on this side, I'm infusing you with the connection, your unique connection to well-being, safety, and security well-being, safety, and security. Because unless we are safe and secure and know that all is well, it's really hard to be present and grounded. So just let that in. Let yourself feel that. 
Let yourself know that, that you are safe, you are secure, and all is well. Okay, good. So, when practice um, to be more present and grounded, I just did the energy clearing, but if you would like to practice on a daily level, drop your awareness down from wherever it is. It's probably in your head or above your head. Bring it down into your body, into your second chakra, which is in your pelvic region. Bring your awareness down there. Feel that, the fullness of that part of your energy system. That's where you create from, and that's your abundance center. So that will help you get present and grounded. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope this series is giving you benefit. I would love to hear what you're experiencing, what you're noticing, and any, actually any subjects you would like me to cover. I'm happy to do that. So let me know and have a great week. See you next week.